Have you ever wondered, what's the backstory of the Indian Penal Code, the backbone of criminal law in the world's largest democracy? The tale begins in the mid-19th century, during the reign of the British East India Company. The year was 1834, when Lord Thomas Babington Macaulay, a member of the Law Commission, was tasked with drafting a new legal code for India. After years of meticulous labor, he presented the first draft of the Indian Penal Code in 1837. However, it took another two decades before it was officially implemented. The year was 1858, a time when the British Crown had just taken control over India from the East India Company. Amidst the administrative changes and the aftermath of the Revolt of 1857, the Indian Penal Code, or IPC as it is commonly known, was finally enacted in the year 1860. It was a comprehensive legal document consisting of 511 sections covering everything from offences against the state to offences relating to marriage. The IPC has undergone numerous amendments since its inception, each one reflecting the changing societal norms and political scenarios. The first significant amendment came in 1898, when the code was expanded to include new offences and punishments. Then, in the turbulent years of the mid-20th century, several changes were made to address the challenges of a newly independent nation. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, the IPC underwent several more amendments. These included changes to laws on sexual offences, corruption, cybercrimes and more, reflecting the evolving challenges of a rapidly changing world. But despite these changes, the core of the IPC remains the same as it was over a century and a half ago. It continues to serve as the cornerstone of criminal jurisprudence in India, a testament to the foresight of its creators and the adaptability of its structure. To recap, the Indian Penal Code, born in the crucible of the British colonial era, has evolved over time to address the changing needs of Indian society. It started as a project in 1834, became law in 1860, and has since been amended multiple times to keep pace with societal change. Its history is a fascinating journey through time, reflecting the evolution of law and society in the Indian subcontinent. So, the next time you come across a news article or a legal document referencing the IPC, remember the centuries of history and evolution behind those three letters. It's not just a set of laws, it's a living, breathing entity that continues to shape and be shaped by the world's largest democracy. This was a brief overview of the history of the Indian Penal Code. It's a complex and evolving document, reflecting the changing times and challenges of a vibrant and diverse nation. A testament to the enduring power of law and justice, the IPC continues to guide the path of criminal jurisprudence in India. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.